Welcome to the quick start guide for CDX Zipstream. In this video, we'll cover the basic operation of the CDX Zipstream Excel add-in and show you how to access the zip code and location analysis tools it provides. To get started, open up a Microsoft Excel file and you'll see a new option in Excel containing a menu item named CDX Zipstream. This menu contains the following options. The CDX Zipstream button allows you to explore the various CDX Zipstream databases and provides a user interface to easily import these data items into Excel. The Repeat Last Query button allows you to use prior data requests on a new input list. This button is disabled now because we've not yet made a data request. The Account button will show the status of CDX Zipstream. This includes the product type and version information. You can see the status of your zip code databases and download the latest updates. New purchasers should be sure to use the register button in the upper right to activate the product and download the latest databases. The settings function allows you to configure CDX Zipstream with various product options. For instance, Bing Maps can be configured to use a free or paid API key that you've obtained. This information will be automatically retained for future sessions in Excel. The help file is a web-based document which opens in your browser. It contains detailed information on using CDX Zipstream. The quick start guide is a link to this video. The website button will take you to cdxtech.com where you can review additional documentation, support articles, and download product template utilities. The Formulas menu is a list of all CDX Zipstream functions available in the version you purchased or the demo. The formula list here is available with the CDX Zipstream Premium ACS version. Other lower cost versions will only contain the functions purchased. Clicking on any of these functions will pop up a dialog to lead you through the steps required to enter the formula in Excel. This menu is also available by right-clicking on a blank cell and selecting CDX Zipstream functions. Let's now take a look at using the CDX Zipstream button in Excel to import data. Suppose we'd like to create a report for the following list of zip codes. To start, select the first entry in the list. Click on the CDX Zipstream button in the menu and you'll see the address of the selected cell, which you can edit here if you wish to move the report. In this case, we are using the CDX zip code data feed, but other data feeds are available based on state, place, county, CBSA, or other classifications. Not all of these feeds are available in every purchase version of CDX Zipstream. The selections shown here are associated with our CDX Zipstream Premium ACS version. Please also note that if you, if you are using the demo, only certain zip codes have complete demographic data. These are 90210, 90272, 78747, and 06830. You'll also see two lists of data fields. On the left is a list of the available data fields, and on the right is the list of selected data fields you would like to import into the spreadsheet. You can build this list by selecting a field on the left and clicking Add. Or if you'd like to add multiple entries, hold down the Control key and then click Add. You can also add blank fields, remove fields, or rearrange the list using the up and down buttons on the right. Clear the list by clicking on Remove All or Add All fields by clicking Add All. Once you are done building the selected fields list, just click Get Data. Your worksheet will be filled with the selected items just to the right of the zip code list with column headings and the data already formatted. Just remember to end your zip code list with an empty cell so CDX Zipstream knows where the data stops. 
starting the CDX Zipstream dialog again. You can also use the settings feature to customize how data is returned, either by row or by column, whether you want to overwrite existing data or not, and other formatting options. Now if you want to look at one of the worksheet cells, you can see that each data point returned by CDX Zipstream is the result of a formula. This formula automatically grabs the requested data from a local database and returns it to the spreadsheet. It can be used like any formula in Excel to return data. Let's say that we would like to get the same data set for 07869. If we cut and paste formulas from an existing row with data, into the new row, we'll see that the formulas now apply to the 07869 zip code. We can also repeat the last query button in the menu to the return the fields for a new zip code. Let's now enter 07801 in our spreadsheet. Click on the CDX Zipstream menu and then click on the repeat last query button. This has the same effect as copying formulas and can be used for one or more rows. Thanks again for choosing CDX Zipstream. Please make sure to visit our website cdxzipstream.com for additional information. The website includes a product overview and frequently asked questions. You can also take advantage of the free templates that are available. These automate CDX Zipstream functions for bulk calculations such as distance. With the templates you can just copy in your data and run your analysis in a single click. A support area is also available with solutions to common problems, instructional videos, and tutorials. To manage your purchase, you can use the Your Account section of the website. This allows you to review your activations, download zip code data files, and make optional purchases such as maintenance contracts. If you have any questions or problems running CDX Zipstream, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at cdxtech.com.